Hello you guys, good morning and welcome back to my channel. I am having a good day today. I'm feeling very positive and good, so I hope I can spread that on to you guys. This morning I woke up, I did a little workout. I have been using a few different services, I guess you could say, during quarantine for working out. So I've been using Obey Fitness, which I think I mentioned to you guys in one of my last vlogs. Um, I do have a discount code for them as well if you guys want to use it, which I really like. I've been using the Sweat app and I've just been looking up sometimes when I don't want to follow like, I don't know, like a timed workout routine. I kind of just want to be more lenient. Then I will just look up on Pinterest like leg workout and they will have awesome workouts that you can do with like just dumbbells or even just your body weight. So just a tip if you guys don't want to pay for an app or you don't want to pay to have to like find a workout, Pinterest has so many good options. Um, anyway, I woke up, I did a little workout, it was like 30 minutes, and then I rinsed my body off, washed my face, did my skincare routine. Now I'm starting this vlog. So I'm about to make some breakfast. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna make. But I realized today, actually I didn't, I didn't ever check the exact amount of days that it's been. I'm gonna look right now how many days Leif and I have been basically quarantined. We were kind of already like trying to take social distancing really seriously and stay at home before California kind of announced like that they really wanted people to stay home and to definitely self quarantine yourself. So I feel like it's been extra long. Um, I'm gonna look at how many days it's been because I have the exact day on my calendar. So it's been three and a half weeks. Tomorrow will be, well, it'll, tomorrow will be four weeks of self-isolation. So that's insane. I, I honestly, I feel like it's been months and months. Like this year has already felt like it's been eight or nine months long. I'm like, wait, are we gonna like start a new year soon? This is insane. But I did also quickly wanna say, I saw something on Instagram that was saying, basically, if you are not starting a side hustle and learning a new language and reading and doing all of these things, then you lack like motivation. If you, you know, have all the time in the world and you still can't get stuff done, but then all, everything was crossed out and it was basically like, you're fine, it's fine. We're in a worldwide crisis and pandemic. Don't beat yourself up for not learning a new language or, you know, working out every single day and being super productive every day. Um, the last thing I want is for you guys to ever watch any of my videos, follow me on any social media platform and feel like you're not doing enough. Um, I try and keep my content like positive and normal obviously, but I just want to make it clear that all of us, there is literally not one person that is not being affected by this. Even celebrities or people with a lot of money it's like every single person in the world is being affected by this pandemic so it's kind of comforting to know we're all in this together and i just want to reiterate the fact that every single person that you follow has hard days i've had days where I have not worked out i've gone four or five days without working out i mean before this all happened i would work out like four or five times a week and I've gone like almost a week and just been like, I'm sorry, I don't wanna work out. Like I have no desire or motivation. On the days that I'm vlogging, sure, I might be taking you through like a productive, you know, happy day, but that doesn't mean that every single day I'm waking up doing my full face of makeup and getting a bunch of stuff done. Today is actually gonna be pretty chill. I don't have a rigid schedule by any means for what I wanna get done today. So I feel like it'll kind of be just a cozy day at home, which I think will be fun and nice. So I'm gonna make some breakfast really quick. So Chelsea has been telling me about this yogurt for a while. It is a vegan yogurt. The brand is called Kulina or Kulina. Kulina, I'm not exactly positive how to pronounce it, but it's plant-based and this particular one is the flavor blueberry lavender, which looks very delicious. And it's also like a probiotic yogurt, so it's supposed to be very good for you. The ingredients are awesome. It also comes in this adorable glass jar, which you could easily eat it out of, but I wanna add some berries. Probiotic yogurt is very hit or miss. It's like, sometimes it's just so, it's very tart and like almost zingy. You're like, ooh, when you eat it. Um, and sometimes, oops, sorry, I wish I could show you guys this, but it's not really allowing me to with the angle of my camera. So here's the yogurt. It honestly looks like ice cream. Here we are. I'll give you guys a taste test. Mix it all in. I, I don't know if it will need some sweetener or if it'll be already pretty sweet because maybe if it does, I'll add some honey or something. Wait, that's so good. That's really, really good, you guys. I'm being very honest because, like I said, 
with a lot of probiotic yogurt, I'm like, oh, like I can kind of eat it, but I don't love it. But this is really good. That flavor, the lavender in it is really good. I should be um, a food critic now, a food blogger. Delicious. I finished that off. Highly recommend it. I got it at Whole Foods. Again, this is what the packaging looks like if you guys want to check it out. So Leif and I stocked up on some groceries yesterday because this week is kind of an important week um, for especially staying home and we literally had no food left. Like we had run ourselves to kind of the ground with the options of like produce and stuff we had. So we stocked up on groceries so we don't have to go outside for the next little bit. Um, so I'm feeling good about all the food and the options that we have at home to make a lot of good stuff. That was the first time going to the grocery store where things were really different. And I was like, wow, you, this is really crazy. So we got to, we went to Whole Foods. We've been going to Costco to stock up on like bulk items. Um, but there were a few things that I've been missing a lot that I get from Whole Foods. They just have so many like non-dairy options and things that I love. So we decided to go and they have little tape marks for where each person can stand six feet apart. You cannot take your reusable grocery bags into the store. You have to use the paper ones that they have there and you have to wait at like the front of the store, wait until someone walks in for a while, then you can walk in. If there are more than 10 people in the produce section, you're not supposed to go into the produce section. The aisles all have tape Air, like taped arrows for so it's a one-way aisle basically if there are more than five people in the aisle you can't go down the aisle it was really crazy that was the first time I was like wow this is like a big change for our world and day-to-day -day life is not the same right now at all so that was really interesting I knew I had a berry in my tooth I knew I had to have gotten at least one. Anyway, all of that to say, we stocked up on groceries. We got some good stuff, so I'm feeling prepared there. Um, I gave myself a manicure for the first time in years. I kid you not. I have not painted my own nails in so long. Um, I've been getting gel nails. But the thing I will say, this is what I don't miss about normal nail polish and giving myself manicures, is that they're already... I don't know if you can see that very well, but they're already chipped. I did this two days ago and I put a top coat on to seal it and everything and they're already chipping. I do miss getting manicures, but that's the least of everyone's problems here. There are much more important things to worry about, obviously. Anyway, to get started with today, I kind of wanted to clean out our guest room, which honestly I say, oh, to get started on our day, but I think this is going to take a long time because our guest room has kind of turned into our junk room. I don't know how many of you guys out there have a room that just turns into like everything you don't have a place for, you just put in this room. Um, that's what our office was. As you guys saw, if you watched my office tour, our office before was that room where we just put everything, just things that didn't have a place, PR packages that we got sent, lots of stuff was in there. And now our guest room has become that because obviously we don't have any guests coming, especially during this quarantine. So it's kind of become the room that we just don't use. But the problem is that every time I walk down the hall and I catch a glimpse of it, I'm just like instant anxiety because it's so messy in there. This is something that I've been like putting off. And you know those things where you're just like, put it off because it just doesn't sound fun at all but eventually you're just you get to a breaking point where you're like okay I have to do this that's where I've gotten with the guest room where every time I go down the hallway and look at it I'm like something has got to be done ASAP but then days and days go by and I just don't do anything about it so today's the day I'm gonna take you guys along with me and we're gonna clean up this very very disastrous room together lady is thriving in quarantine she's loving all the attention she's getting a huh, lady you love all the attention you get. Okay, so here is the situation at hand. Um, there's just basically stuff everywhere, laundry all over the bed, ladies crate, some returns that I was meaning to make before all this craziness happened, a casual sparkling water, <laughs> bells that we used at our, these are things we used at our podcast live event. This was from our podcast live event. This is like leftover like pots and stuff from our old house that I haven't used yet. Stuff is everywhere, so let's get to work.
here is the final product, you guys. Kale, quinoa, chickpeas, and sweet potatoes with the dressing. What's your rating out of 10? This is a 10 out of 10. Really? It's delicious. I have to say, that did take a while for all the components to properly cook, but it's really, really good and super filling and healthy. So I'll link this recipe below for you guys if you want to make it. It's really good. Leif must really be tired because he wants to take a nap, and he is not even a nap person. He doesn't like naps. I'm against naps. For a year, I boycotted them. Publicly, in every social situation, <laughs> was my main goal to boycott naps. He said, let's snuggle. And I said, are you sick? What is the deal? This is unlike you. But he just drank a little bit of an energy drink. Are you going to take a caffeine nap? Yeah. We talked about this in one of our latest podcast episodes. Chelsea was telling me it takes like 20 minutes. Is that what it is? I think 20 minutes for caffeine to really kick in. And so she was saying, I think it's called a caffeine nap. You drink your caffeine and then you take a nap for 20 minutes and then you wake up and your caffeine kicks in. So you're just like ready to go. Okay, I'm finally done cleaning the guest room. It looks so much better. I feel like I can breathe now. It's like so clean and organized. Um, and I switched my outfit because I got this in the mail from Free People and I wanted to try it on and see if it fits. And it's so, so cute. Um, I'll link it for you guys. It's just like a very comfy set. And I'll show you in the mirror so you can see a full body. But let me show you the clean, organized room. Okay, so here it is. Looking so clean. Got this little corner. I don't know how much I've shown you guys this room on any vlogs, honestly. I rarely show it, but here it is. Nice and cozy and clean. So now when I walk through the hallway, this is what I will see instead of the complete disaster like it was before. Okay, and then here is the free people set if you guys wanted a better look. So I always tuck things into like my workout tanks or my bra to make them kind of more cropped, but it's actually like a very oversized fit. And you can tuck it in or keep it long if you want. But the pants are super long, but I actually like them. They're so, so comfy. Um, and yeah, it's just like very flowy and light and really adorable. So I will link this for you guys if you're interested. Um, and I got an extra small. I just realized I still have my AirPods in. Um, and I did in those last clips too because I was listening to The Morning Toast, one of my favorite podcasts, while I was cleaning. If you guys don't listen to podcasts during quarantine, what are you doing? Because that is literally one of the main ways I'm getting through quarantine is listening to podcasts. If you guys want to listen to my podcast, here is the little username for it. You guys can go on Instagram and read all about it, or you can just go find it on the Apple Podcast app or Spotify. Um, I also have a list of podcasts that I love on my feed. I did like this whole list of a ton of different activities during quarantine, TV shows to watch, podcasts to listen to. It is the photo on my Instagram feed that's like cream and then it has pink uh, text. So go scroll down until you find that on my feed. It's pretty recent. It's like a few weeks old. Um, if you guys want some recommendations of my favorite stuff. And the TV shows and movies were all recommendations that you guys sent in. So I made a conglomerated, conglomerated? A big list of um, basically just things to do during quarantine. I want to make a matcha latte right now, an iced matcha latte. I'm gonna try. I'm not even much of a matcha person, to be honest. I've never loved it, but I want to try and get more accustomed to the flavor because it's literally just like natural. I got some green tea powder, some matcha powder at Whole Foods when we were just there. We're gonna see how I like it. Okay, so I just looked up a recipe for an iced matcha latte and it looks very, very simple. Um, this one at least. So they basically just say, Take a mason jar, which I'm pretty sure this is Beth's. So if you're, Beth, you're watching, you left this at my house. Now I'm using it. So you take a mason jar and you just mix the matcha powder. This is the one I got from Whole Foods. Never tried it, have no idea if it's good, but the ingredients were really um, clean, just the tea leaves. And then I have some honey as a sweetener. This um, particular recipe calls for agave, but I do not have agave. I only have honey, so I'm sure it'll work. And some oat milk. I got this at Costco. It says, in a glass jar, mix the matcha green tea powder with a little bit of water until it turns into a paste. Guys, my nails are chipping so bad. Like, what the heck? Do you guys have a great um, clear, like, top coat in mind that you could recommend to me because obviously that's not cutting it. One teaspoon of the matcha powder. I only have a half a teaspoon measurement. 
our teaspoon got like in the drain or whatever with the disposable. Disposable? Dispose. Disposable is that what it's called? Dis whatever. <laughs> Mix it with a little bit of water, just enough to form a paste. Mix it up so there are no clumps. That's the reason for mixing a little bit of water first. Okay, that's looking good. No, no clumps. Okay, it looks horrible <laughs> from the outside. From the inside, it's looking like a paste. One cup of oat milk. Love that. I didn't spill it too bad. Like, why do, do things always have to be so chaotic when I try and make food? Now we do a few teaspoons of honey. Look at that, it's already starting to look good. Now I put the lid on it. I pray this is on there good enough. And we're just gonna shake it for 60 seconds. I'm going to fill this up with ice and pour it in. You guys know I gotta get a quick, a quick Insta story pic. Time for an official taste test. That's pretty good. I'm like shocked. I'm actually shocked that I really like this. I could, I could really get down with this. This is actually probably the first time that I've drank matcha and like I'm really enjoying it. Probably because I put in a few teaspoons of honey. I think the sweetness really helps. This is delicious. I'm happy. We'll see if Leif is awake from his nap. He actually did take a, a real nap, guys, and he can try it. Are you awake? <laughs> Wanna try matcha? Good morning. Good morning. A quarantine nap. You want some? Does that smell funny? <laughs> you love me extra when I have food. <laughs> a sick boy. Do you like it, yes or no? It's pretty good, huh? Matcha's like an interesting taste. It's an acquired taste. But I think that's pretty dang good. Yeah, it is. Beautiful color. Already said that, but. Yeah, it's like green. Look at the shade of green. Yeah, it's like definitely a shade of green. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thanks for coming along on a cozy little day at home during self-quarantine. Even though it was a relaxing, chill day, I feel actually pretty productive since I cleaned that whole room out and that's been on my to-do list forever. And I got some work stuff done and made some good food. Feeling good. How are you feeling, Leif? <laughs> What is she doing? I feel good. I had a yummy nap, a, yum a yummy lunch, a yummy matcha. Wow, what a yum, I'm feeling yummy. And you have been working on a video today. Yeah. That TikTok will see soon, huh? Yep. That's my final word. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go Here's to my you. TikTok. <laughs> Um, because I post a lot of fun stuff. I did a TikTok of cleaning that room um, while I was vlogging as well. I recorded some stuff for, you know, to make it a little satisfying cleaning TikTok. Hey ladies, show them how you get your scrunchie. She, no joke, can get this every single time. She's obsessed with scrunchies. Definitely make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you want to see more quarantine content or just fun vlogs in general. And also, I was thinking about doing a little like quarantine essentials or like quarantine favorites, must have products kind of video. So if you guys would be interested in that, let me know in the comments down below. But thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.